G'day and welcome to another edition of Hef's Beer Reviews. Today I'm reviewing another beer from Balta, which of course these days is owned by CUB or Asahi. It is their hazy IPA. These days comes in this 375 mil can. When it was first released a few years ago as a limited release, it did come in 500 mil cans. Alas, no more. 6% is the ABV, so 1.8 standard drinks. Let's crack it open. Pour it out into the uh, freshly rinsed Spiegelau IPA glass. We get quite aggressive. Just give it a swirl. Get any sediment. Add into the glass. All right, we've got a uh, a very hazy golden colour. A couple of fingers of off white head. Difficult to uh, to see the carbonation with the amount of haze we've got going on there. Aroma. Very fruity, very hoppy, very tropical. Um, orange and mango is the main, the main aroma that I'm getting. Looks good, smells good. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Okay, I'd say it's um, it's around medium in terms of body. The flavour profile, similar to the aroma, it's very hoppy. Uh, it, it's a real tropical, juicy, hazy beer. Uh, the, the citrus orange flavour is there, the mango is there. Um, there's a hint of passion fruit. It's not, uh, it's not as prominent as the other two, but, but it's definitely there. It does have some bitterness. It's not, uh, it's not completely lacking in bitterness as some hazy beers are. There is a little bit there, um, but of course, for the style, uh, it, it is very restrained. Sessionability, 6%. Look, I reckon you could definitely have a few. Um, I think that's quite a good ABV, actually. I, I, I do enjoy beers in that 5 to 6% range. Price point, you're looking at about 6 bucks a single, somewhere between $20 and $24, $25 for a four-pack. Um, I'd still call it craft beer, even though it's no longer independent. So price-wise... You know, it, it's pretty comparable uh, to what you'd expect to pay for most others uh, or, or similar beers. Rating. Look, um, I think it's a really, really good beer. If you like hazy beers, if you like your New England IPAs, then I think if you go in with an open mind um, and not, you know, not being a not being silly just because they're owned by uh, a big company then i think you're going to you're going to enjoy this beer it's probably not um it's probably not the absolute best i've had it, it's not you know i like i like them really really juicy um i guess it's probably similar in quality i haven't reviewed it but black hops goat um there's probably not much separating those two. The flavours are a little bit different, um, but both very good examples. I'm going to give this one a really, really solid four and a half out of five. I think it's a really good beer, uh, and I think anyone who likes hazy beers, if you haven't tried it, you definitely need to get out there and give it a go. I definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Hef's Beer Reviews.